Assalamu alaikum. Today I received an initial evaluation on my Quran recitation skills. This included a review of my voice and of tajweed. Tajweed means the pronunciation rules uh, to make sure that you're actually reading the words correctly and you're reciting it with the correct pronunciation. It's, it's very important um, to make sure that not only does it sound good, but you're actually saying what the text actually reads. My main feedback that I received from my teacher was that my voice is good, but there are specific instances within those major rules for recitation where I fall short on. And I'm very happy to know what I need to work on, especially if my entire um, intent is to memorize al-Baqarah with the correct tajweed and with understanding. That being said, um, what I used was my mushaf that I've had for most of my life. You know, I chose a passage that I wasn't familiar with. Um, I chose a few ayat in uh, Surah Al-Imran. It's one that I don't listen to um, frequently as I should. and I, I don't review it very frequently, so I wasn't and Arabic is not my first language. So whatever I was reading, I wasn't very familiar with. So I knew in you know, going in that I wouldn't be um, reciting it or reading it as, as well as, as other verses or other chapters that are shorter that I'm more familiar with. I took down some notes and she also sent me some messages on pages from like a, a workbook for kids, which, you know, I'm still learning. There's no, sh the whole point of, of uh, me doing this at all is to show that there shouldn't be any shame, any anxiety or nervousness that your recitation is awful. She's, you know, find a Quran teacher, you know, maybe growing up there were Quran teachers who weren't as nice or as understanding um, or, or, or their teaching methods weren't very conducive to, to wanting you to learn. I mean, you, you, but that was in the past. There's no excuse now that uh, you can't find a teacher that um, works with your schedule and that understands uh, what you're going through and is willing to, to help you because the whole um, you know, objective is to improve. And when we improve our relationship with the Quran, we're actually improving our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So some areas of improvement for me. And again, um, I can link to resources. I'm just gonna go down the list um, of the tajweed rules that I need to practice are qalqala, uh, the noon and meme mushadda, I think that's what it is, the lam shadda, the meme sakin, and there's like different types of sakin, I think. There's like the ikhfa, the idgham, the it's it, it's our, I'm probably pronouncing it all wrong <laughs> just as I'm telling you it. But just to know that there's, you know, different rules to look out for. And if you don't have a Quran teacher who knows these rules, maybe you shouldn't approach this Quran teacher and find another one instead. Uh, things like ikhfa, idgham, idgham mitlain, idgham mutaqarrabain, idgham <laughs> See, I don't, I'm, not even, I'm probably not even saying it right, but that's okay because I have the instructions, I have a blueprint of what I need to work on in order to build the best recitation capacity capability that I have. Um, there's also and so these are the different areas that I need to work on. I'm, I've taken, I'm going to be taking more notes. And um, for my next lesson, I won't be starting in the middle of Surah Al-Imran. I'll be starting on the 30 Ijaz, which has the shortest surahs. And I'm very familiar with those surahs. So as I recite, recite back to her, she'll be able to point out like, hey, this is exactly where you're, you're, where you're applying this rule. And once I get into the flow of recognizing it in the verses that I'm very familiar with, it'll come more naturally to me, inshallah, in the longer chapters. Uh, so that uh, once I have that practice, that repetition, you know, repetition is the key to learning. And I'll be able to recognize and apply those rules so that I can recite uh, the Quran um, the best 
up as I possibly can, inshallah. So I'm gonna play a clip right now, and I am fully aware that there is all manner of uh, areas of improvement within my recitation, and I appreciate, you know, alhamdulillah, that I have access to a Quran teacher who, you know, will help me improve, uh, whereas I wasn't <laughs> improving in the past when you go it alone. And inshallah, this inspires you on your journey to seek out a Quran teacher for yourself, for yourself and continue on in a Quran journey, whether it's starting anew with just learning your alphabet or continuing to practice upon what you've built and make corrections to maybe something that you didn't learn the proper way in the beginning, which is what I am doing right now. So let's begin, inshallah. Fataqabbalaha rabbuha biqaw Fataqabbalaha rabbuha biqabulin Biqabulin, okay. Fataqabbalaha rabbuha biqabulin hasanin I, see, I don't have like any idea what's coming next. That's why I keep messing up. You cancel the noon only. Because you have three noon. See, that's why I keep messing up. Fatakabalaha Rabbuha Bikabulin Hasanu wa ambataha wa ambataha nabatan hasanu hasanu wa kafalaha wa kafalaha wa kafalaha the kariya. Fatakabalaha Rabbuha Bikabulin hasanu. Hasanu wa ambataha nabatan hasanu wa kafalaha wa kafalaha zakariya. Okay, you say wa ambataha, change noni, nona, you have to iklab. Wa ambataha, wa ambataha. Yeah, wa ambataha. Wa ambataha nabatan hasana. Okay, little, you know, your lips only say wa am, wa am. No, 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 it's a wa ambataha wa ambataha wa ambataha nabatan hasana wa كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا ذَكَرِيَّ الْمِحْرَابَ وَجَدَ عِنْدَهَا رِزْقَ Because you know, you it's have to connect. When you have stop, you can stop. It's easy for you. Mm -hmm. You have to do all together. Okay. Because I had a little stop on my. You missed it. Okay. Uh, 
رزق رزق وجد عندها رزق رزق Right. If you have Alif, you say Rizqa. Okay. Um, كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها رزق. No. عندها رزق. You have Qaf and Alif. Okay. One more time. كل كل كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها عندها رزق. رزقا اه oh, اكيد okay, okay, okay. one more time yes. كل عندها رزقا عندها رزقا كلما دخل عليها زكريا محراب وجد عندها رزقا محراب محراب هي زكريا يو هاف تو زكريا زكريا اوكي كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عنده وجد عندها رزز وجد عندها رزقا وجد عندها رزقا كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها رزقا قال يا مريم أنت لك أن قال يا مريم أن لك هذا قالت هو من عند الله قالت هو من عند الله قالت هو من عند الله Yes. Okay. If you have kasra before Allah, you have to say lightly empty mouth. If you have a damma fatha, you have to say full mouth for Allah. Okay. If you have kasra before uh, uh, name of Allah, indillahi look like bismillahi. Okay. Qalat. Damma and fatha, you have habib. Indillah. In, in قالت هو من عند الله نو no. no, عند الله يس yes. قالت هو من عند الله اخفاء قالت هو من عند الله ان الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب اوكي okay. قال قال ان الله يرزق من يشاء حساب حساب yes. إن الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب yes. uh, جهان, uh, who you before so many people I mean it was like long time ago <laughs> long time ago okay if you like because you know if you know the part, just, uh, theory, it is easy to do 